Hello everybody, so today I wanted to talk about the past. Um, I've seen a lot of people uh, talk to me about my past, where they've said things like, well just forget about it, just don't worry about it, uh, these things you can't take into account as you're moving forward, and things like that. And I did not believe them. I always said, well, these things happen to me, I can't forget them, they've changed how I view the world, etc. So I maintained that thought process for a long time. I thought, well, because these things happen to me, uh, this is what is real now, and I just, I have to live my whole life with these ideas in me all the time. And then I became a Christian and really started learning about what is the usefulness of a past? And I also recently was told some things about my parents that I that are that are hard for me to believe. But I don't believe that this person is lying. So that kind of stuff. So here I am stuck in the past again. And so I asked God what to do. What, what do we do with our past? What, what can I do with this information? Because it was heartbreaking information. It was information I, I'm not going to say I didn't want to know. It was just, sorry, let me adjust this camera right quick. It was just information that I, I don't know what to do with now. Because it's in the past and I can't do anything about that. So, I'm not saying I should ignore it. It's just new information I now have to process. I went to read my Bible. No, that's not true. I went to pray and ask God, what do you want me to talk about today? With these sort of things in mind. He said, let's just talk about the past. So I found one of my favorite Bible verses is actually Old Testament Isaiah 43 and it starts in 18 and goes to 20. But my favorite one is 19. And I'm going to read the whole thing, though all three of those verses. And it says, Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a roadway in the wilderness, rivers in deserts. The beasts will glorify me, the jackals and the ostrich, because I have given waters and wilderness and rivers and deserts to give drink to my chosen people. Now, I don't take this to mean just forget about everything that's ever happened to you. What I do take this to mean is don't sit around every day and think about it. Look forward to, to the things that God is going to create for you. Yes, bad things happen. Horrible things happened. I often find that if I am contemplating my past instead of working on my future, I get depressed and all this other stuff. Where God says, stop thinking about your past all the time. That's what ponder means, to sit around and think about just that. And start looking forward to the things that I'm going to do with you. Start looking forward to the things that now we can do together. And that's how I see that. In the Easter time frame, there is a phrase, Talitha Kumi, or Kumai, I'm not sure exactly how to say that. And that is my favorite phrase because it basically means, basically the idea behind it is, look, I do something I do something new. I create. Um, he's risen. When God was risen, excuse me, it wasn't ever heard of before for people to rise from the dead again as much as he did. it, He came and he did something new. So this is something that is a recurring theme in the Bible. God takes you, despite your past, whatever it is, and does something new. 
don't sit around and soak in it. And I think sometimes this is also part of the problem with some of the political stuff that's going on right now, where people want things for what happened in the past, or they want drastic changes because of things that happened in the past. If something was bad in the past and it's been changed, it's done. Let's move move forward into this new era now, into this new thing that we're going to make that is now better. And I think that if you use the past for more than just to learn from and you sit in it and you and you and you just think that is where you should be, then at that point it becomes everything you are. You then become the past. You you can't see a way forward. Everything is what it was in the past and there is nothing new. So that is my video for the day. I'm sorry it's not heavy, heavy Bible. I will put some of the Bible verses in my description on the YouTube version of this video. And so if you're watching me on Twitter right now, Hello, and you can go to my YouTube video for those verses. And I hope you have a great day today, guys. Remember, read your Bible, pray, don't live in the past. Even if horrible things happen, figure out a way to move forward. If you need prayer, I'm here for you. If you want somebody to just talk to anonymous, anonymously, I'm here for you. You can email me anytime. Or you can DM me or message me on YouTube, whatever. So until tomorrow, guys, I will see you then. Remember to pray and read your Bible and be a good influence out there. Bye.